Cool Joe, Joe Thomas, getting into the Hall of Fame. Well-deserved, well-loved by all of us Browns fans. He really represented us during those lean years after the move and during the 131 days. There was no better player and no better representation of Cleveland than Joe Thomas. All the accolades are deserved. I'm so happy for him and his family. We love you, Joe. Congratulations. You've probably heard a million of them. Here's one more from me to you. Guards Thor on the mound today, hopefully getting his first victory for Cleveland. He hasn't won since April when he pitched for the Dodgers. Also, Naylor out with an oblique strain. As I mentioned last night on the live, it is usually an injury that takes anywhere from two and a half, three weeks to maybe five. It's going to be a while before we see Naylor. And then Freeman is kind of in the unknown. He hurt his shoulder, but still not known at this time when he's going to be back. Cavaliers guard Ricky Rubio is stepping away from the game, stepping away from the team to take away, to do some things with his mental health and spend some time with his family. He just made that announcement here on Saturday morning, right before I actually came on. Good luck to Rubio. He meant so much before he got injured uh, two years ago. He means so much to us. He's a good guy, good dude. Best of luck to Ricky Rubio. And then finally, the Buckeyes, Travion Henderson's back on the field. I think we tend to forget about him because of his injury. Still no announcement on who's going to be starting quarterback against Indiana in September.